Lord, thank you so much for the blessing that you have given John um, in Sydney. Thank you, Lord, that uh, you have also blessed her with, with him. God, that as you've been growing and developing him from infant till now, uh, Lord, it has been leading to this moment that you have been forming him and transforming him into a man of God to, to lead his family. Lord, I pray that their delight would be in your law. And I pray that they would meditate upon it day and night. I pray that in all that they do, they will prosper. And I pray that their leaf will not wither. Today, God takes two individuals and creates one. Bound together in vows, solemn promises that they do not make lightly. Above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Thank you for the love that he's found in Sydney. Lord, I thank you for the new sister that I will have. Lord, you have blessed me with this family and with this brother. For those of you that don't know John that well, I'm here to tell you that he is pretty weird. Now, Sydney, I will admit that I don't know you extremely well, but I do know uh, that you're also pretty weird. You want the tomatoes and all that? You have duck earrings. Uh, you had a 70s theme uh, wedding at my house, and you love my brother. <laughs> John pursues what he loves. John loves to be challenged mentally and physically. John loves to learn. John loves to work. And Sydney, John loves you. Hi, Sydney. Hi, John. <laughs> How are you? Pretty snazzy. Yeah. Sydney, one day a man will come and take the spot across the table from you. As a mama, my heart, I wish that I could keep you a baby forever. The other part knows that I must release you to become the woman that God has called you to be. You can see my gift. I took a sneak peek. I can't wait to see you. I think I'm gonna rock your socks off. I think you will. Please sit with Sydney at the table. Stay a while. You will spend much of your time, much of your life together at the table. Remember to enjoy the moments. Don't be in a rush to leave. The years will pass by and you will realize all these ordinary moments are the, the most important moments of all be the mighty man, for you will need to be mighty to capture my fierce Sydney's heart. My dear Sydney, since being engaged with you, the beauty of marriage has bloomed more and more in my mind. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a gift given to us to be a daily reminder of our relationship with Christ. Every vow that I will make today, I strive to make under God's strength and on my own. 
Finding ways to show love and comfort for you brings me so much joy. It brings me joy to watch your face glow and see your beautiful smile grow. There have been so many wonderful moments in our relationship leading up to now, which perfectly reflect characteristics I would love to continue into our marriage. For my best friend and future husband, John Peter Wilson. I'm already completely honored that I, Sydney Johns, get to marry you, John. I've not done anything to deserve you as my spouse. You're a gift. As your friend, I don't want to be passive. I want to teach and share along with you. I want to help discern things with you. I want to hype you up and encourage you. I want to pray with you, and I want to pray for you, and I want to pray over you. I vow to be your friend. I only want the best for you. see my Savior's love and the way you have chosen me to be with me, to marry me, and to help carry my burdens. Praise God for you, my brother, my groom, and my love. To my queen, my bride, my honeybee, <laughs> my love, <laughs> Sydney Elizabeth Queen Mariah Jones from John the Pride of the South Hills. Oh, I love it so much.